feeding program for both pullets or layers. In order to get better results in poultry, a feeding program must be designed, understood, and put into action. Poultry birds, most especially the pullets, respond to everyday treatment you give to them. Never forget, everyday treatment you give to them, they respond to it. Nothing is going to be kept aside. Yes, this is to say, in poultry business, is garbage in, garbage out. What you give to them is what they will bring to you. That is why I always say, your action as a poultry farmer from day one will speak if you make profit or not. I don't care any sector of poultry you are into, both the broiler, the pullet or layers, or any, in short, even in other livestock, your action as a farmer at day one will speak if you make profit or not. Yes. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing the feeding program for pullet or layers. You may want to have pen and paper for what I'm about to share. It's a secret that I'm about to share what I do and the result I got personally from this. I'll be back. Stay tuned. Welcome, Welcome back to, to the, the channel, channel again. It's your number one economic and extension farmer. This channel is all about efficiency, how we can minimize wastage and maximize our profit. We also go outside the box to look for information on how to solve our poultry problem. If you have any problem, just let us know in this channel. We'll tackle it together as a one family channel. So let's go right into what we have for today. Feeding program for layers or pullets. Yes. So it is ideal that when your chickens come to your place or come into your farm from the one to be given chicken match. Yes, chick match is the ideal feed to be given to your baby chicks when they come into your pens the one. Giving your chicken chicks match from the one to eight weeks is what is ideal. Proper feeding program from that the one to eight weeks is what is ideal and you are to feed them on chicken match or chick match but in the absence of chick match you can use the real starter feed the, the, the feed designed for brellas is different from the feed designed for pullets or layers so when you are giving chick match to pullets that is the right feed for them and when you are giving starter feed to brellas that is the right feed for them but what will you do now in the absence of chick match you run out of chick match or when your pullets arrive in your pen at the moment the place you are getting your feed from they are not selling chick match yes some of us are facing these uh, issues because there are there are places where you cannot easily get chick match and you want to go into egg production so what will you do at that moment you can also give starter feed the starter that is meant for broilers can also be given to your chickens for lanes but there are things to put into consideration when you are giving them this starter feed that is meant for broilers instead of giving them from the one to eight weeks you are going to be giving them from the one to six weeks giving them above six weeks will cause damage in your laying hen when they start producing it will cause damage it will show at the end of everything that is why i say in all you are doing it is garbage in garbage out in poultry is what you do from the one that to speak at the end of your program so you have to give sheep match from the one to eight weeks but in the absence of sheep match and you are giving them the normal broiler starter feed you have to give them from the one to see Switch. So as the birds are growing, you are to switch from sheep mash at 8 weeks to grower feed. And if it's the normal broiler starter feed you give to them, you are to switch from the broiler starter feed that you are giving to your um, chicks from 6 weeks, you are to switch to grower feed. This will help to reduce the fat they have accumulated during the grower stage. Yes, if there's any fats they have accumulated from eating a broiler starter feed, 
when you switch from that six weeks during their growing stage they are going to be burning lots of fat and so this will help to burn the fat easily when you switch from starter feed dollar starter feed at six weeks and start giving them grower feed from the from six weeks to when you are going to switch to layer feed again which i'll be saying it at the end of this video so please just watch this video to the end because there are information that i'm going to be passing now that are going to be in the end of this video so as your chickens arrive you also need to put their lighting program into consideration yes you are not going to be feeding your chickens and leave them like that in order to get a better result you have to put their light program into consideration so if you are feeding your chickens from day one to eight weeks or six weeks make sure they are having 24 hours of light from day one to eight weeks even if you are going to be switching from um, starter the brother starter to grower at six weeks make sure they are still having their light till eight weeks 24 hours of light till eight weeks yes it is ideal this is what i do personally this light program i'm going to be sharing here is what i do personally on my own farm i give them 24 hours of light when it's when they are pullets i give them 24 hours of light from the one to eight weeks and in order to get their weight at 19 weeks or 18 weeks your beds are supposed to start laying if they're having the proper weight and their, the proper nutrition from the beginning. They are supposed to start laying from 18 weeks or 19 or 20, the 20th weeks of being with you. They are to start laying. So in order to get the weight, the real weight at 18 weeks, you have to give them the normal temperature they deserve. Not high temperature. Chicken love their temperature being warm temperature not heat they just love their temperature they just love warm so in order to get that weight quick on your poultry farming you have to give them the required amount of temperature they will need so i'll be leaving a link here to understanding temperature for brooding for day old chicks so for those of us that don't understand the right temperature to give to our day old chicks a link will be given here for you to watch and understand the right temperature to give to your day old chicks. The reason why you are giving them this warm temperature is so as not for them to use the feed they are eating to regulate their temperature. This will help not to delay their production period. So you are to change from starter feed or the chip match from if it's start, if it's brother starter feed from six weeks, you change to grower, and if it's sheep match from eight weeks, you change to grower feed. And now, why are you giving your chickens this grower feed diet from eight weeks when it's sheep match, or when it start brother starter feed six weeks? Why are you giving your chickens grower feed? This is because grower feed we just we help to normalize or to balance their system till they are ready for egg production. It will keep their system moving till they are ready for egg production. And when are you to switch from layer grower feed to layer feed? Although some some people normally say you, you can switch from um, uh, grower feed from 18 weeks and above. Why some specify that layer feed can be given to your chickens at 19 weeks but to me i will not advise that yes so before i tell you when to switch from grower feed to layer feed please if you already enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell right away so what is the light program that is scheduled or the light program that you are to give to your chickens during the grower period yes from eight weeks to 12 weeks you are to give to your chickens 19 hours of light initially you will be you will be giving them 24 hours of light from the one to eight weeks but from eight weeks to 12 weeks you are to give them 19 hours of light 
from 12 weeks to 15 weeks you have to give them 16 hours of flight and from 15 weeks to 18 weeks you have to give them 14 hours of flight then from the 18 week down to when your, the chickens are tired of laying because from 18 weeks some chickens might have stopped laying so you are just to give them two hours extra of light it should be added to their normal daylight so from 18 weeks if you are having a chicken that has started producing egg just two hours of light is to be added to what you are to give them in order to enable them to start laying and this lighting program that i just said now is the lighting program that i use personally on my own so i don't know for other farmers but this is the lighting program i use and there's results from this lighting program there's a way to also feed your chickens in order to get results when they start laying yes in order to to get results when they start laying their crop needs to be developed properly and how do you attain this how do you get their crop been making how do you get their crop to be developed properly you are to feed your chickens three times a day or twice a day either you feed them in the morning leave a space between and feed them in the evening again just divide the amount of feed they are supposed to eat at in a day into three parts and give them part by part this will help to enable them in developing their crop and will also help them to eat feed very well when they start laying yes when you are giving this space when you are allowing their feeders to be empty note their drinkers should never be empty at any point except if you are if you want to give them vaccine which i'm still going to be talking about this vaccine that you to give them at the end of this video so their feeders should be empty try as much as you can to empty their feeders two times or three times in a day some if you you can do it two times in a day or three times in a day as you wish but try to make sure their feeders are empty once or twice in a day this will help to develop their crop so now that you fresh 18 weeks and your best have not start dropping what does it mean does this mean that you did not try your best in as to achieve this goal at this 18 weeks or not i will say you should not panic yes some chickens will start their production at 18 weeks while some chicken will start their production at 20 to 22 weeks but most chickens normally start their production at 18 or the 20th week so just calm down and relax your chickens will lay as far as you are doing the right thing as far as you are putting their feeding schedule into the right action you will get the result you deserve so when are you to switch from grower to layer feed like i said earlier people will always say switch from layer feed at 18 from grower feed to layer feed at 18 weeks but i will say no to that yes you are to switch from grower feed to layer feed when you see five percent of egg in your pen when your chicken start dropping when you see one egg in your pen never switch from grower to layer wait until you start you start seeing five percent of egg drops in your pen that is when it is ideal for you to switch from the grower feed to the layer feed until you see five percent of egg drop in your pen this is just to make sure all your pen are matured or that their system is matured enough because the layer feed you are going to be giving them will cause for large egg so this will help to protect your chickens from early prolapse or prolapses at the beginning of their lay so when the chickens lay too much egg or when the egg the chickens are laying are too big for it to come out it leads to prolapses which will cause the chickens to be pecking each other and will lead to cannibalism in your pen so wait till your chickens have have started dropping five percent of egg before you switch from grower feed to layer feed so what are the vaccines schedule for you to follow now even when your chickens come to your pen at first week you have to give them lasota vaccine the second week 
you have to give them Gumburu vaccine. The third week, you have to give them Lasota again. And the fourth week, you have to give them Gumburu vaccine. These are the four vaccines they are going to be taking for the first four weeks. Lasota, Gumburu, Lasota, and Gumburu. Then at six weeks, you have to give them Fowlpox vaccine. Yes, this is to protect them or prevent them from the high effect of Fowlpox on them. And when your chicken start laying, you are also it is also advisable or ideal for you to be giving them Lasota vaccine at six weeks. Every six six weeks, when your chicken start laying, it is ideal for you to give them Lasota vaccine. And it's also advisable you give them deworm at five weeks. It is advisable you deworm your chickens every five five weeks before giving them the Lasota vaccine at six weeks so i hope this video has given you a detailed explanation on feeding program for pullets or layers so please if you, the information shared on this video has helped you please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and like this video please support us by sharing this video and also subscribing a lot has been put to bring this knowledge and this information to you so please support us by subscribing our subscribers and our returning viewers we really love you from farmers Hub. we appreciate you for coming back to watch our video each time we upload love you guys from farmers Hub. bye